We received a 911 call that uh, a motorcyclist uh, with some other uh, people were traveling from North Carolina into Tennessee and there was a pull off on Highway 107. Uh, they decided to stop and rest for a few minutes. Uh, well, the cyclist uh, walked out into the edge of the woods and discovered a uh, partially decomposed body. At that point, they contacted me. I contacted my investigators. I, along with them, went to the scene. Uh, we interviewed the cyclist and immediately called the TBI. Uh, we began an investigation. Uh, we did find a ID on the partially decomposed body. At this point in time, I'm not going to release that name until we have positive identification, but we're 95% sure we know who this person is. The person is out of Carter County. Uh, myself, uh, Sheriff Fraley, and the TBI will be uh, doing a uh, joint investigation to determine the, what's happened here. So at this point in time, I'll let Sheriff Fraley explain about the missing person, what he does. Yes, our office was notified about 2.30 this morning and our investigators were notified that uh, it was possibly a missing person that was reported missing on August 10th. And like Sheriff Hensley said, I don't want to release the name just yet because of uh, notifying the, the family because we're not 100% certain who it is. But uh, our investigators, along with Sheriff Hensley's investigators and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation are treating this uh, as a death uh, scene and we will let you guys know as much as we can when we can but right now they're still processing the scene did uh i'm sorry we can jump in for questions there's much already um did the did the sheriff's department of carter county did they release something earlier this week about a missing person we've actually had two missing persons this week one we have found safe and the other one um like i said tentatively um I'm not going to release any names or anything like that, but we think that this may be the second person that was reported missing. I guess what I'm trying to clarify is I don't know if earlier in the week you released a name or not, but if, if so, you'd rather us hold off on I, w I would ask that you would hold off at this point until we can notify the family. Um, Just wanted some clarity on that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, you know, what all goes into an investigation like this when you're trying to identify the body? I guess an autopsy would be the next step. I'll let uh, Sheriff Hensel if he wants to answer. Yes, we, uh, the TBI, uh, we sent the body for autopsy. Uh, they will uh, take DNA, also fingerprints, and they will positively identify that person. Uh, once that person is positively identified, uh, as a person being from Carter County, I'm sure Sheriff Flaley will release that name. Uh, we also will be asking uh, the public for any information once we release this name. If they've seen this person, uh, last time they saw him, uh, if it's the person we think about, we think it is, uh, it's going to be a person from Carter County, and he would be well known with some people over there. So we'll be asking for their help also once we make sure it is that person. During the course of an investigation like this, when you all show up on scene, uh, what sort of factors determine uh, you sort of thinking that this is more homicide rather than accidental or something? Well, when we got something like that, we leave that up to the forensics. We leave that up to especially a partially decomposed body. Uh, we will leave that up to the autopsy. The, the result, look at the results from the autopsy, and we'll go from there. Is the scene clear? At or this point, still? at this point, it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got for you, folks. But we appreciate you all, and there's no question. Once we determine. This is the person we think it is. We'll be asking Sheriff Fraley and myself both. It's our joint investigation. Uh, we'll be asking for some help from the public. 